Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. This is video is going to be a Wednesday night horror film review. And um, I picked a horror film that I've been watching on my October marathon. And it's going to be a 1980s Motel Hell. This is directed by Kevin Connor. He also directed films as The Land Time Forgot from 1974. At the Earth's Core, 1976, and that's what I found on him, basically. Uh, this stars Rory Calhoun, famous for the Angel films, and a lot of 50s westerns as well. Also stars Nancy Parsons, she uh, starred in the Porky's films. Those are pretty fun films as well. And then it has uh, stars Nina Axelrod, hope I said that right. Those are the main stars of the film. Our, char our characters, basically, we'll get into that in a bit. So uh, let's get into the into the film, the plot of this film. So basically, it's about Vincent and Ida. I, at first, I thought they were a couple. This is only my second viewing of this film, so I don't have the great knowledge of it. But um, at first, I thought they were a couple. Um, but turns out they're not. It kind of says a, they're kind of like he calls her sister during the film. I don't know if they're direct siblings or just got together and call each other that. I I don't know. Uh, too much on that but it was as Vincent and Ida they're this odd odd two people pretty much they have this motel which they rent out rooms and they also sell meat famous meat different kinds of jerkies and and he's famous for his meat Vincent it's Vincent's meat uh, he goes on these odd hunting trips at night which looked like a basic hunting trip until you see what he's you know pretty much up to he's setting traps on the road having people crash and pretty much kidnapping them and taking them to do some pretty odd stuff in his in his area his garden pretty much so uh turns out this couple's going on a on a motorcycle and they end up flipping over and as they flip over he captures their bodies takes the boyfriend with him and keeps the girlfriend for himself he's like infatuated with her and this is Terry one of the main characters and he pretty much lies to her and says her boyfriend's died and they buried him and she's welcome to stay with him. Gives him that family kind of love there and she's she's just heartbroken and sad and she's trying to get over it. So she ends up getting pretty much close to this these people, Vincent and Ida. And they have a Vincent has a brother named Sheriff Bruce. He's pretty much infatuated with Terry and he's trying to take her out, but she don't like him like that and he keeps pushing it and it goes from there and um as it turns out all these people end up missing you see like these uh pretty much kind of hippies they're cruising they're going through they get hit up on a, uh yeah vincent sending up a bear trap having them wreck the way he captures his pretty much people he takes them to this garden does these really strange things to him guys it's real odd they're buried in his garden and he's pretty much priming them up to pretty much put it well pretty much put in his meat spoiler alert so um as he's doing this more and more people start missing and uh pretty much terry starts to fall in love it's kind of odd with vincent the older guy and they propose to get married what is going on you got terry not terry uh, sheriff bruce in a jealous rage the brother and he's trying to you know mess things up because he likes her as well but she's i guess in love it's kind of odd she's strangely attracted to this older guy and i thought at first she's just trying to set him up or something but no it turns out she i don't know it seems like she's really in love with him and then she starts to find out i thought it was like a setup or something she starts to find out that sheriff bruce starts to investigate his own brother and find you know the shady stuff he's doing with these people and stuff in his meat as he does this um uh, Terry, he shows Terry and she realizes what he is, what happened, and that her boyfriend, what happened. So she turns on him. And as they do that, we got Ida, who's already curious about Terry, doesn't trust her. So he, she's basically trying to kill her on her own. But Vincent's still defending her with his admiration for her. But as he's doing that, he's pretty much, she's finding out about his messed up things, so... As this uncovers, you turn out to a final, you know, showdown. You got Ida 
and Vincent pretty much getting some payback and then you got Vincent uh going pretty much total off the edge crazy man he puts on a you can see on there a pig head and a chainsaw and just all out for a massacre there um overall that's that's this film um it's goofy but then it has its horror moments Ugh, I cannot talk it's goofy but it has its horror elements at the same time and yeah it's a it's a fun one I enjoy this one I don't mind the goofiness and it, you could tell definitely got some inspiration from Texas Chainsaw Massacre so overall I'm gonna give this one a four out of five pretty solid film I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this if you haven't I highly recommend it it's a lot of fun it's a good 80s cheese ball uh, kind of slasher cannibal slasher film and yeah I enjoyed it I had a blast with this one guys it's gonna be 1980s motel hell oh and there's a quote I wanted to say it's a famous quote what Vincent says in the film his, his his slogan is it takes all kinds of critters to make farmer Vincent fitters <laughs> that's a famous quote from this film just hilarious so yeah overall solid film guys I give it the recommendation uh, please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys uh, thought of this film if you've seen it if not uh, watch it it's fun man so this is undead nightmare 24 back with a Wednesday night horror review I hope everyone's staying well and safe out there guys and keep it horror peace